Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel and today I'm going to show you how to count words in a cell in Excel with formulas. So um, so why I'm showing you this is because in Excel there's no such built-in fun function. Uh, there is in Word and in some, uh, in some other software but it's not here in Excel so I'm going to show you how. Um, so what you can do, you can download the file, I'm going to put the link right below the video so you can download it, see the formula uh, and how it's built with me and I'm going to show you right away how it works. So the, the technique we're going to use to count the words in a cell, we're going to base ourselves on the numbers of uh, the number of, uh, of spaces you have in, uh, in, uh, in your text. So here I have uh, different sentences, we're going to try with formulas to count the, the words. Uh, and we're going to base ourselves on the number of spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, to say that basically uh, between two words there's always a space. So the number of words it's uh, the same as the number of uh, well the length the length of all this sentence minus the length of all of this when we remove the spaces. So. For example, here I'm going to compute the len, the number of characters in everything in all this sentence. So it's 28 characters. Um, if I remove all the spaces, so what we're going to do is we are going to use substitute. And in this text, we're going to substitute the um, character space. So Oops, the string of text with only um, a space and we're going to substitute it by an empty string. So basically we're going to remove all the spaces. Um, so basically it joins everything. And here if I compute the length of, of this, uh, this string, the number of characters, it tells me it's 22 um, characters long which means that I've removed six spaces. So if I remove six spaces, means that you have seven words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do, uh, uh, to group all of this into one single formula, which is going to be, I'm going to put it here. It's going to be length of, so, of uh, this text minus oops, minus where's the minus minus the length the length of this text when I substitute in this text um, a space by an empty string okay and the I take the length of this which tells me six word, uh, six uh, spaces, so seven words, so I have to add one, okay? Um, and we're gonna see what it makes. So seven, here it says I have five, one, two, three, four, five, that's okay. Five, two, two words, three words here. So, um, a problem we're gonna have here is, for example, if I make a typo and I put three spaces, I make, you know, here I have one spaces. If I put another one, it says four, um, and the, th that's kind of a problem because it's not, you know, typo proof. So what I could do here is I can um, instead of taking the uh, the raw text, I could remove in that text the um, the useless spaces. For example, if I use the function trim, trim this text, what does it do? It's going to uh, actually remove this useless space here. It's gonna put one space instead of two. Um, and then I can work on it. And it's gonna be the same here. For example, if I add uh, additional spaces here, uh, yeah, you're gonna, not going to see it, but if I paste the value, just the value here, you see that it removes the, the spaces in the end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
here in the formula instead of taking the length of the raw text i'm gonna put the i'm gonna take the length of the trimmed text okay and so even if i had uh, you know useless spaces like that it uh, detects that i only have um, three words okay so uh, that's uh, even better to use it this way and um, and that gives us a an accurate formula that we can reuse anywhere to compute the number of words in a cell so i hope that uh, it's going to be useful to you so you can could count the number of words uh, anywhere you need you can download the file right below the video if you uh, want to check out how it's uh, how it's built or if you want to reuse the formula uh, anywhere in your template and um, I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel course. Uh, don't forget to subscribe this way. This way you're going to get a quick notification as soon as I publish it. See you tomorrow. Ciao.